This appeared in the sample question paper, which of the following is a decimal expansion of an irrational number. What is the concept for irrational number decimal expansion? It has to satisfy two conditions. One, it should be non-terminating, which is it should be infinite. Two, it should be non-recurring. These are the two conditions that it should satisfy. Excuse my handwriting, it's right. 3.201, it's terminating, so it cannot be an irrational number. 0 0.67 with a line on top, the bar on top, which essentially means that this number is 0 0.676767. It is non-terminating, good, but it is recurring. So it's obviously not an irrational number. 9.23, let's quickly finish it. It's a terminating decimal, cannot be an irrational number. Look at this number, 6.1. These dot dot dots say that it is non-terminating. Let's see if the pattern is repeating. 0 to 0 0 to 0 0 0 to. So which means that it is non-recurring. So this is the number, which is an irrational number. It's so a one mark multiple choice question that appeared in the sample question paper. Quickly run through this. The definition of the decimal expansion, how will it be? It's going to be one, non-recurring, and it is going to be infinite or non-terminating. 3.201 is terminating, so therefore it is not rational. So look at the second one, which is 0 0.67 with a bar on top, which means that this number is recurring. It's non-terminating, but it is recurring, therefore it is not an irrational number. Third one, it is one, non-terminating, and it is also non-recurring. So this is the irrational number in the group. The next one is a terminating decimal, therefore it is not irrational. Choice C is the answer to this question. Before you leave, do two things. Sign up at online.maxtude.com for CBSE online coaching for class 10 maths. It takes less than 5 minutes in all of 3 steps to get started. And do one more thing. Subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash maxtude and spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.